Welcome everyone. Let's have another look back at the Juice Toolkit. Today I'll be going through the Text Editor Listener class, or at least I'll be doing a quick example of that. To give a little bit of information up front, Juice utilizes this idea of listener classes that you create callback functions for. The listener class will listen for a particular event and call the callback function that you create whenever that event occurs. In this particular case, I'm going to go ahead and utilize this text editor text change method. And uh, this method will get called any time that uh, text changes within the text editor. So I've got the window open in here in my background for uh, the introducer. I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. I'm going to create a uh, an app very similar to the way I created in my initial video. Let's. Uh, Let's go ahead and make this full screen. I'm going to go ahead and create a GUI application. I'm going to go uh, right through and use the same method I did in my initial video. And I'll link to that if uh, anyone needs that for info. Um, let's see. We'll go ahead and create this in my documents folder here. Juice Linux and projects. And we're going to call this amazing project uh, the lower caser. It's this. It's going to be this amazing application that takes um, takes text of a text string that the user enters in through a text editor, and it converts it all to lowercase. Amazing. Okay, now uh, we've got our simple app created. Let's get uh, started with uh, clearing out some of these classes that we don't need, first of all. Uh, Juice provides a bunch of modules that you can use for various purposes, but in most cases, you don't need all of them. In our case, we only need a very uh, a few of them. So I'm going to go ahead and start removing these modules. The audio, for one, we don't need any audio in this simple project. And that will actually help with uh, several things. It will decrease the file size of the resulting uh, executable binary, and it will uh, make the compilation process a little bit faster. So let's go ahead and remove the cryptography as well. Uh, Juice events will need, will need, uh, we won't need OpenGL, and we won't need video. So basically, that's it. We've got that all set up. Now let's go to files. And similar to my. Um, uh, initial video, we're going to go ahead and delete these guys. We don't need those initial uh, boilerplate files there. But what we do need is to create a new GUI component. And uh, we're going to name that GUI. That way it'll be easier to remember. And let's see. Let's uh, open this up. This is that the new GUI CPP or um, C++ file. I'm going to go ahead and quickly create a uh, text editor here. That's the text editor for the first item. And uh, we'll call this text editor, we'll give it a name, this one. Uh, this will be the, actually, this will be the from editor. This is what uh, we'll be converting from. Um, uh, oh, hey. Um, I am not not screaming. <laughs> OK, that's going to be the initial text that shows up in that. And you can see that right there. And we're going to convert that to all lowercase. So let's go ahead and get another text editor set up here real quick. Let's put a little space there and between the two, make them roughly the same size, hopefully. Uh, yep, that's pretty much the same size. Okay, and this one, we'll call this one the two editor. And we'll just leave that one blank. Um, we'll go through that in just a moment. And uh, really quickly, we need to go to the class section here. And uh, where it says parent classes, we need to add in another, uh, we need to add in the text editor component class here. Uh, let's go ahead and go back here. I believe that would be text editor listener uh, without the, there, I think it's, that's going to be what we'll need there. Um, let me go ahead and minimize that and comma public. And so basically what you'll do is you just add a comma in along with the word public and the listener class that you want to include. 
or at least reference within this particular class that we're creating here. And uh, that should do it for that. Now we'll go back to here and we'll go over to the code. Um, actually, really quickly, let's go to the main C++ file again, and let's get rid of that initial um, boilerplate code, and we'll fill that in with our GUI.header file. And uh, we'll go down here and change this one as well. So we'll, we'll what that's doing is basically calling that new C++ file that we created, and uh, that should do it for that. Um, let's go over back to the code again. And what we need to do is with this, um, this is the code that Juice creates for this particular editor. Here's the code for the from editor and the code for the to editor. What I need to do is add in a little bit of extra code to create the listener. So for in this case, we're going to create it in the uh, from editor. We want a listener to be attached to the from editor. So uh, let's see, add listener and this. That's basically how you add, an, uh, add a listener. Um, let's see, um, really quickly, uh, we're going to create a little bit of code so that when the app starts up, the from editor automatically gets, um, or rather the to editor automatically gets the contents of the from editor, but uh, in lowercase. So uh, what we're going to do is go to, um, let's see, to editor and uh, set text would be the method that we want to use, set text. Um, okay, so we want to set the text of the to editor to the text of the from editor. So in this case, we'll go to uh, from editor here, and we're going to get text from the from editor. And what we're going to do is utilize a quick string class here, our string method, and that would be dot um, to lower case. I believe that's that's the name of it. And if I, uh, well, I'll double check that in a bit if that's not the case, but um, I believe that'll do it. So that should make it so that right when the app starts up, this whole I am not screaming should get copied down to the other text editor only in lowercase. And I'm gonna copy and paste this real quick because we're gonna go to use that in a little bit too. Now, uh, what else we need to do is uh, we need to go down here uh, further down the app and we need to go to the, let's see, where is this? The miscellaneous code section, because what we need to do is add the method that's going to be called by that, that uh, listener that we just created above. So we'll go ahead and uh, create that with a void uh, because we don't need to return anything. And uh, GUI colon colon, I don't recall the actual uh, name of this one. Let's see. It will be, oh, actually, this is exactly what we need here. So we could potentially copy and paste this right in. Uh, it's best to practice typing that in, I believe, but um, for sake of quickness here, we'll just go ahead and uh, copy and paste that. Whoops. We need a name for this editor here. We're not actually going to even need that because we're just going to reference. Uh, we're going to go a quick route and reference things directly instead. So uh, let's see this in this text editor uh, method. Uh, what we're going to do is actually we're just going to copy and paste this line of code from here so that every time this changed, um, this listener is called anytime a text change occurs in that first box, the second box will get its contents in lowercase like this. Okay, and let's see here. I believe that should just about do it. Uh, what we're gonna have to do though real quick is we're gonna have to copy this and we're going to have to reference this also in the header file. So within the header file, we've got these uh, user methods right here that are um, uh, commented out. Uh, juice provides, or uh, rather, I'm sorry, the introducer provides a way for you to copy and paste code within here, or actually rather write code. You can write code within here uh, 
that will be safe from the graphic editor or rather from the in anything that the introducer does. Uh, so anything within these uh, commented sections will be safe and uh, you won't have to constantly rewrite those as long as you keep them pasted with or uh, done within the right sections. And that's why I did that in the C++ file as well. I'll mention more about that when we get back there. But um, at this point, I just, uh, since this is all encapsulated in this uh, GUI class, we can get rid of this here. We don't need that. And uh, void, so there we've got that uh, text change method declared there now. I think we're all safe there. And if we go back to the C++ class here, let's just see. I think that's basically it. I think that's all we need. Uh, just again to mention though, uh, we've got this commented section here. You'll see I added the code in there rather than just adding it up here with the rest of the code. Uh, similarly, I've got this other code edited or added in down here. That's for when you want to create any new methods. And uh, basically, I'm just trying to keep this all nicely contained within those comment sections so that uh, you can go ahead and make cha any changes that you want to um, this whole section will be uh, it won't overwrite this code that we're adding in here. But anyway, uh, it seems like everything's all set with this particular app. I think we've got this all configured to work properly. So I'm just going to go ahead and save all uh, save project just to be on the safe side. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and go over here to the console and actually rather to the file explorer and I'm going to go into the project folder uh, that should be in lowercaser this folder here and under builds and Linux there's our make file that you cre introducer created and I'm gonna go and right click and open this folder in a terminal okay and in this terminal all I need to do is just type in make and that should take a moment to compile I'll go ahead and, whoa, looks like I missed something here. Let me just go up here to lowercase. I knew it. So let's just, let me just do a quick search real, real fast here. Hopefully this will actually help uh, juice uh, to lowercase string. Hopefully this will help in finding uh, class references for yourself. String reference, okay. So this is the string classes references uh, reference. This these are all the methods that this um, that this string class is able to provide on its own. Here we go to lowercase. I'm just going to copy and paste that in back here. Oh look at that! I actually did it correctly. I, I spelled it correctly. It's just that I didn't reference it as a function. So let me go ahead and do that. There we go. That should take care of it. And I believe that will fix it for this app. Let's clear this window real quick and make. And uh, at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, fast forward past all of this since this is going to take a little while. OK, that's it. Our uh, project has completed compiling, and uh, that should do it for us. We should now have this lowercase -er app that should just work. So let's go ahead and run it. Uh, and you can see right off the bat, it does work. It, uh, trans it uh, turns all of this text into lowercase. Let's go ahead and type some more, some more text. There we go. And it uh, automatically converts it into lowercase, this amazing app. You are free to sell this thing if you want to. But uh, basically, that takes it takes care of that. I think we've covered all of the processes involved with that. There may be some um, uh, miscellaneous things I've missed here. Hopefully, I can uh, touch up with those things uh, through another video. But if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments on YouTube or on my blog. Hope to see you in another video. Have a great day.